Hi, this is Beverly Lang with Diversified Business Solutions, and today I'm going to walk you through how to process an unscheduled payroll run. I'm using QuickBooks Desktop and the Assisted Payroll Platform. For those of you unfamiliar with Assisted Payroll, this is a payroll platform offered by Intuit where Intuit will actually process your state and federal tax filings, tax payments, and prepare your W-2s at the end of the year. In order to process an unscheduled payroll run, we're going to start with the Employees menu. Come down to the Employee Center. You're going to want to ensure that you're on the Pay Employees tab. In the middle of the screen, you're going to see a button that says Start Unscheduled Payroll. This is going to open up a Enter Payroll Information screen that lists all of your employees. Now, what are some of the reasons you might need to process an unscheduled payroll? Perhaps you've terminated an employee or an employee needs an employee advance, or they need to be reimbursed for some expenses that they can't wait until the next payroll cycle. All valid reasons to process a payroll outside of the normal payroll schedule. So for this instance, we're gonna double check our pay period end date and our check date. I'm gonna mark that I'm gonna print paychecks on check stock, and I'm gonna choose Michael D, who's the employee that has requested and been approved to receive an employee advance. I'm going to hit the open paycheck detail to get into his preview of his pay stub. I'm going to delete hours because he's not actually getting paid for any time worked. I'm going to go down to other payroll items where I'm going to select employee advance. He requested and was approved for a $500 advance, so I'm going to enter $500. As you can see, it adds the employee advance over here in his employee summary. Because this is a pre-tax item, there are no taxes calculated. Therefore, his check amount will remain at $500. Once this information is correct, hit Save and Close. It'll take you back to the Enter Payroll Information screen where you're going to hit Continue. Your paycheck will be populated. Again, there are no taxes or deductions, employer taxes or contributions because this is a pre-tax item of an employee advance. This is all correct, so I'm going to hit the blue Create Paycheck button. And now you'll get a window that says you have successfully created a paycheck and will give you the opportunity to either print the paycheck or the pay stub. If the client was on direct deposit, then you would also have a button where you could send payroll data directly to Intuit for them to process and make the direct deposit on your behalf. And that is how you process an unscheduled payroll run.